Good evening, everybody on YouTube. Steve here with Rake and Profit, coming to you guys with a late night broadcast. And it's about 11.15 right now, Eastern Time. I am from Connecticut, so it is definitely a late night. Typically, I'm getting to bed around this time. But I've been having a lot of people message me say, saying, Steve, you know, I'm from Canada. I'm from California. I'm on that Pacific time. Hook a brother up and do one of these live shows when I'm actually – awake or I'm not at work. So here I am. I want to do something a little bit different and uh, do a late night show. And during tonight's broadcast, we're actually going to be covering things to sell on eBay, specifically men's wallets that are selling on eBay. And I've had, I've been having a ton of fun lately uh, going through the various items that are selling on eBay. We've talked about sunglasses. We've talked about different types of clothing. We've talked about uh, video games. I mean, the list really goes on and on. So we've been covering a ton of different uh, topics. Looking in the comment section right now, which there is a live comment feed. So if you want to interact with other people who are live, be sure to check out the right-hand side of the screen. If you're on a desktop, if you are on a cell phone, look below, open up the comment feed and say hello to everybody. I do want to say, you know, I am definitely a little puckered out and tired. So I'm not going to have that crazy rake and profit energy tonight. It's kind of a chill, laid back, uh, you know, research session. If you were to actually see me right now, which my webcam's not on, uh, you'd be able to see that it's pitch black where I am right now. I've got my two computer screens, pitch black. I've got the blanket around me. So I'm just kind of kicking back, relaxing, and just wanted to have a little fun and uh, have some education uh, with you guys. So it looks like we got Spooky in the house saying already smashed that like button. Appreciate that, Spooky. Bod Dam. Uh-oh, we got Bod Dam in the house, the bona fide hustler. Is there any creatine left for me? I have a Toomey wallet. Uh, Bonafide says, greatest wallet ever. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be covering wallets. Let's make sure that you can hear me okay. I have a Toomey wallet. All right. Looks like the sound is working properly. Cool. We got 14 people in the house. Don't expect a lot of people watching live right now. I didn't really promote this at all. I did post it on my social media a little bit, but don't expect a ton of people. So if people do show up, that's a uh, bonus. Also sipping on a tangerine tea, which is supposed to bring positive energy. That's what it says on the box. Who knows? So again, guys, let's dive into the show. You should be able to see my screen right now. And let's cover some of the best selling men's wallets on eBay. Real quick uh, to give you a recap of what I did. I went to eBay, typed in wallet, went to wallet under the men's used accessories. Then on the left-hand side, I didn't touch the brand, didn't touch the color, material, style, features, but I did hit pre-owned. Why? Because when you find these wallets out in the field at thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets, um, who knows where you're going to find them, but places like that, they're typically going to be used. So I wanted to do that. Price, 30 bucks and above. Why did I do that? Because I don't want to be messing around with wallets that are selling for 10 or $15. It's not going to be worth your time. It's not going to be worth my time. And one of the keys to scaling up your business on eBay, Amazon, whatever you're doing, is making sure the margins are there and that you value your time. So you know, I'm assuming your time is worth a lot more than five to ten dollars an hour or you'd be working at a day job so let's let's cut it off at 30 bucks uh, I'm gonna also hit buy it now why just because I prefer it and uh, us just to deal with uh, the uh, the dollar currency and sold listings so let's go over some items right here we have a st. DuPont leather wallet let's open this up in another tab i've never heard of this brand right here uh again i'm not an expert when it comes to wallets so i may be pronouncing some things wrong uh, i did hit men's wallets so if some women's stuff comes up and i can't tell if it's a women's item i apologize uh, but let's take a look at this right here open up another uh tab okay Open up another tab and let's type in St. DuPont's wallet. I want to see if this is something that is, um, let me do that one more time to make sure it's coming up under men's. Okay, there we go. So this one right here sold for $68. 100% genuine and authentic. I've never heard of the brand before, never. So I opened up another tab because I want to see if this is just, you know, 
one profitable thing that's sold or if there's a lot of this brand that's selling. So um, also I want to let you guys know the comment feed is open. I've got another computer next to me, so I'm reading the comments. I see Aisha in the house. What's up, Aisha? Good to see you live. Utah, Gmall99. We got Braulio FM. We got David uh, M in the house, Teen Hustler. Teen Hustler says, every time I see wallets, they are beat to hell. So here's one that sold for 68, another one that sold for eight. Um, one that sold for some a best offer under 47. Here's one that had two bids at 42, um, 33, 23. So I, I, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. There's not a ton of sold listings, but I think that it's definitely something you should look at. You know, if you're at a garage sale and you could pick this up for a dollar or two, you know, why not pick it up? Uh, Saint DuPont, if that's how you pronounce it. All right, let's keep moving down the line to see what else we've got here. We have a Prada. Uh, leather bifold wallet, best offer hundred un, under one hundred fifty dollars. We're not going to dive too much into that, guys, because you know I know a lot of you folks know about these high end brands, right? We know about Prada, we know about Gucci, we know about Louis Vuitton, uh, we know about Coach, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Um, let's try to find some of the more obscure items, some of the more I don't know if you want to say the word rare, but maybe. You know, maybe let's let's focus on brands that we've never heard of before, or maybe something that you can actually go out and probably find in the field. I mean, the odds of you finding a Gucci, Prada, Coach are probably low. Um, you know, maybe you could find it, but your second battle is going to be after you find it, authenticating it, especially with Prada, Gucci, Coach, stuff like that. Um, let's look at something more obscure like this. This sold for $35 right here. Uh, this is actually a, I don't know if it's a wallet. They called it a men's document holder from 1868. Are you serious? No way. From 1868, man, that's what I want to whip out my document uh, holder, you know, from 1868. Next time I go to pay at the thrift store, right? That's what I want to do. That's, I'm going to put that on my bucket list. Um, Will you be able to find this? Probably not. Vintage 1800s leather wallet. I'm looking for something uh, to be able to, you know, be able to notice this. I don't see anything. Um, I don't see a brand. I don't know if uh, there are any brands in 1868. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's sold for 35 bucks. So if you find a old looking document uh, holder, you know, you might want to take another look at it. A bullfrog in a biz. What's going on, Jeremiah in the house? Check out the completed and solds on Velcro wallets. Throwback hipster all day long. Velcro wallets. So if Jeremiah wants me to look at Velcro wallets, you guys know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look up Velcro wallets. Let's see if bullfrog in a biz knows what he's talking about. So I'm sure there's a million different ones from China that aren't selling for Jack Squiddily, but let's look for the heck of it. So, you know, let's throw in the word hipster, right? Let's throw in that word. Why? Because I don't want to focus on the Chinese knockoff ones. Um, that didn't help very much. You know, uh, Jeremiah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be a little more specific because I could already tell there's gonna be a million of them, and I don't think we're gonna have enough time to go through them all. But let me know if there's something specifically I can look for. All right, let's keep moving down the line. O L O P, genuine brown. I don't know what this is. I don't know if O L O P is the brand. Uh, I see that the keyword ostrich in the uh, title, so it looks like possibly this is made out of ostrich skin $62 okay so that is the brand if you guys take a look in the bottom left hand corner you see the brand OL OP made in Italy very interesting right there never heard of that brand before so it appears that this is made out of ostrich which is a very interesting material right there uh, I don't can't tell what that says right there let's copy this right here o l o p let's go in to another tab and let's type in wallets and let's see if all of them are selling for this much money or if it was just that one so that's the only one i could find o l o p right there just that one so um you know, the odds of you finding that are probably pretty low. Let's keep moving down the line. But, you know, that was a new brand. Uh, 
Ferragamo, another super, super high-end brand. Uh, Saddleback, which is actually actually a brand I learned about the other day when I was going through backpacks. So this brand is Saddleback right here. Didn't know that they made uh, wallets or whatever you want to call this thing. I guess it's a wallet, right? Uh, it's not a traditional wallet that you'd think of, you know, putting in your pocket. Made in Mexico. Saddleback. So let's type in... Saddleback wallets and see what comes up in the sold listings. And I know this isn't the most exciting thing you guys have ever done, but this is how you do it. And this is how I do research. I'll just go through the sold listings and I'll look for brands that I'm not familiar with. And then when I find something that looks like it's going for good money, I'll dive into it a little deeper to find out some of the more specifics, right? Like what are the specific models that are selling? What are the materials? What are the colors, the designs? And, you know, once you start going down that rabbit hole, you know, you, you don't know what you're going to find. You know, look like right here, I'm looking at, you know, here's a leather uh, a bag right here. Now here's like a, a little credit card holder right here, 28 bucks, 25, 40, 75 for this more uh, horizontal wallet right there. Here's a little trifold wallet, 42 bucks. So, I mean, we've got a bolo on our hands right here, guys. Saddle back. If you come across the brand saddle back, be sure to look a little deeper into it. You know, open up your sold listings on eBay, open up the app and try to find one that has sold. A lot of people always ask Steve, you know, I find a wallet, a backpack, sunglasses, a blazer of a specific item. How do I know what to price it at? You know, comparative sales. That's what I do. Compare it to something that has already sold. So if you've got a, you know, a saddleback trifold item, you know, that's, you know, coffee brown, try to find one that looks just like it, that is sold recently, find a few, and then price it based on your skill set. You know, Price it on how well you can create that listing and be competitive. Price it based on your business model. What do I mean by your business model? Do you want to flip it quick? You know, get in and out within the first 30 days, or do you want to, you know, get your highest possible price to make the most profit, but wait it out for six months? You know, that's going to be up to you and your, in your uh, business model right there. So I am looking at the comments section and people were saying that that 1868 uh, document holder was most likely handmade. Pedro says alligator wallet. So Bullfrog and Abyss says Vineyard Vines Vel Velcro trifold wallet selling for 30 to 40 40 ish. That's pretty cool right there. Nice little uh, nice little bolo. Ermini Gildo, Zegna, Yegna, Wallet. Yeah, I'm sure that's going for good money. Aisha S., green room member in the house. Big shout out to Aisha. Says, tip, to learn about new things, I go through sold listings and sort by higher priced items. So type men's wallet, for example, then do that and boom, new list of bolos at your fingertips. LOL. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, the only reason I'm not doing that is to make it a little more interesting right now. And I like kind of just scrolling down and then it's like, boom, jackpot in your face. Um, that sounded really bad. Anyways, it's laid out, guys. Don't judge me. Um, here is a interesting item right here. I believe this, this is saying Mont, Mont Blanc M Meister. What does that say? Me Meister struck, Meister stuck. Six credit card wallet. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this. Is that a logo right there? I'm not sure. Uh, 50 bucks. Dear friends. <laughs> this guy's like writing a lighter, letter to his customers. Dear friends, I have used this wallet for six years. It's time to let it go. U.S. shipping only. No paper and no box. Original wallet. So, friends, he has a used wallet that he's used for six years. It looks good. He's man, this guy, man, this guy is smart. He used the wallet for six years and flipped it for 50 bucks. That's pretty cool, right there. Let's copy this because I'm not sure what's going on here. There's not a ton of details. Okay, it looks like the brand is Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Very interesting. Let's type in. Looks like there's pens. You know what's a, a, another one that we need to do one of these days? We need to research the best-selling pens and writing instruments. That would be cool. Um, let's type in wallet. Let's go to used. 
Let's scroll down to sold. I have a feeling this is going to be a real nice bowl right here. Holy moly, 50, 102, under 99, under 131, 89. So uh, again, guys, we're not going to dive into the super, super nitty gritty specifics. Really, what I'm just trying to do is open up your eyes to the opportunities and the brands that are selling. Uh, but this is definitely a bowl right here. Not sure how to pronounce it, but that bolo just went boom. All right, let's continue moving down the line. Here's another Ferragamo item right here, only 30 bucks. Here is an item that, you know, you may pass up. You definitely shouldn't, though, if you don't know about Harley Davidson. Get in a game and take a swing. Uh, rare Harley Davidson 4.5 inch trifold shovelhead leather biker trucker chain wallet. Really cool item right here. I mean, imagine walking up to a garage sale, right? You're walking up to the garage sale. And uh, you're looking around, you might see a bicycle, you might see some household items, and then boom, you see this sitting right on the table for $1. You know, maybe you ask them, hey, um, you know, what are you asking for the wallet? They say two bucks. You say, I'll give you a dollar. And they're like, boom, it's in your pocket now. Flip that on eBay for 35 bucks. Nothing wrong with that at all. Definitely a nice item. Looks like the guy put a ruler down and was like, um, he was showing the, the length of the wallet. Sanjer... Etia. I'll give you $100 if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, Mont Blanc is very high end and they also make pens. Yeah, Pedro, uh, I was just saying maybe one day we'll do a live show on pens. But uh, Harley Davidson, let's go to Harley Davidson wallets and see if, you know, see if that was just one that sold for good money. Let's see if a lot of them are selling for good money. If I was to guess, I'd say that there's probably a lot of good money in this niche right here, this brand. Our med says I sold a Mont Blanc pen set for $517 that I got at a Goodwill outlet for less than a dollar. Holy moly, man. Our med, he's retired. He's never had to work another day in his life since selling that pen right there. <laughs> Our med, thanks for sharing, man. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so it looks like, you know, these things are selling. Some for more, some for less. I mean, look at this one, $32.99. Uh, 40 bucks. that's cool. That's really cool. Cool vintage little beat up look right there on the leather. I like that. Here's a vintage USA Harley Davidson seven inch trifold shovelhead leather biker kind of wallet thingamajiggy, fifty six bucks. Uh, wow, look at this one, guys. This one went for one hundred forty nine ninety nine. It's a very nice item right there. Take another sip of my tea. So we got thirty four people watching live right now. Hello, thanks for coming. Late night. Uh, Thirteen likes. Smash that like button if you if you could do me a big favor, hit that like button, show some love if you're having fun with this show. If you uh, you know have any ideas for another show, let me know. You know what do you want me to research next? Give me some ideas, guys. Throw some ideas out there. We were talking before, uh, maybe going over some pens and writing instruments. That would be a cool idea. But smash that like button right now. <laughs> Somebody just hit the dislike button. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hit that like button. Thumbs down. Do never ask me to hit the like button or I am thumbs and you down, brother. Who do you think you are, man? Um, I'm just kidding. You can hit the you can hit the thumbs down if you like. But anyways, give me some ideas and uh let me know. Um unless that's why they hit the dislike button. Never ask me what I want to watch. Dislike. And now there's another one. <laughs> oh man, it's late night. I'm getting a kick out of you guys. Anyways, let's keep going down the line. Uh, oh, here we go. A Mark by Mark Jacobs uh, bifold wallet right here. Um, 50 bucks. Really, really cool right there. $50. Uh, Mark by Mark Jacobs men's brown leather bifold wallet. $139 new in the store. So somebody actually got $50 for this right here, which is pretty, pretty neat. Let's take a look on the inside to see what's going on. What's up, James Keene, Mississippi Pickers. Good to see you. Yep, the, the uh, Harley Davidson shirts do really, really well. Uh, let's look this brand up a little more. Let's dive into it a little more. Uh, Mark by Mark Jacobs. Let's go here and let's type in uh, wallets. Please research vintage 80s toys for me. They are my favorite. I'll definitely do that. That's a great idea. I've actually been thinking about doing vintage toys. Anything for you, Aisha? Let's see. Um, so it looks like this is a lot of women's stuff, uh, but it looks like it's, it's for sale for some pretty good prices. So 
Wow, what is this? Mark by Mark Jacobs cat coin purse? Who in the right mind would buy this? Oh, that's awesome. Anyways. Okay. Cool. Very cool item right there. Mark by Mark Jacobs cat coin purse. Somebody's asking $54.99 for that. Marco's in the house. What's going on, Marco's? Good to see you. How you been, man? All right, let's keep going down the list right here and see what we got. Here's a Burberry's men's wallet. Obviously, we know about that. We're not going to dive too much into it. Uh, a money clip. You know, that might that might be another good idea to uh, research uh, in the future as well is, is, is a, our money clips. Uh, here's a money clip. I know it's not a wallet, but uh, 32 bucks. Pretty cool right there. Montana Silversmiths money clip. One inch by two inch silver gold. Very nice. And that's what it says. Very nice condition in box. Cool. Let's see what else we have. Here's a, uh, do we have any Donald Trump fans in the house right now? We've got a Donald Trump signature collection uh, leather trifold wallet right here. Uh, Donald Trump wallet. So uh, if you're a Trump fan, let me know. But let's not get too crazy with politics right now. <laughs> uh, this was, I don't know if it sold for 65 or a best offer. Uh, typically I pass on Donald Trump stuff when it comes to clothing. A lot of it doesn't go for much money. Some of it does. Some of it goes for just some decent money. Um, but you gotta be, you just gotta look things up. Donald Trump brand is, is one of those weird brands where some of the stuff does really well. A lot of it doesn't do, go super well. So it looks like some people are saying no to Trump. James Keen is saying go Trump. David M is saying go Trump. Uh, Utah Gmall 99 is saying how about research and ties? I've done it before, but I'm uh, you know I'll definitely do it again. I'm not against it. I think there's a lot of money to be made with ties, and um, I think it would motivate a lot of us to look at that tie section when, when we're in a thrift store if we were aware of all the opportunities. Philip says better than crooked Hillary. Uh oh, things are getting crazy in the comment section right now. We're getting we're getting dislikes up the yin yang right now for talking politics. Uh, anyways, let's keep moving. Gucci Tanner Goods Rider Wallet. Never heard of this brand either. At least I don't remember it. Somebody somebody keeps hitting the dislike button and then unlike undisliking it and hitting the like back and forth back and forth. I'm glad that I'm able to entertain you guys. I really am. Uh, let's see. 65 buckaroos right here. Oops, my screen just went black. Uh, 65 bucks right here. Tanner Goods. So that's interesting. $65. Tanner Goods Rider Wallet in Cognac Leather. Used originally purchased in December of 2015. Handmade in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Oregon. 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 Retails for $145. So let's take a little... Uh, a closer look into Tanner Goods. Let's just type in Tanner Goods and see what else they sell and what it's selling for. So let's hit the sold listings. All right, haters. Let's see. What do we got right here? We got Tanner Goods, Workman Wallet, 117. Uh, a duffel bag, 245. Here's a wallet for 42. Uh, more belts. Um yeah, wow. Look at this. Very interesting brand that I've never heard of before, guys. Really, really cool. So uh, it looks like Tanner Goods not only can bring you in some money for wallets, but also belts, duffel bags, uh, a lanyard. What is a lanyard? I don't even know what a lanyard is. I, I feel like I should know what that is. Um, waxed canvas and leather tote bag. Here's some gloves. So it looks like this brand is really, really uh, awesome. Looks like there's definitely some potential here right here. So uh, look at tooled leather wallets. Tooled weather, leather wallets. Let's take a look. Tooled leather wallets. So I've never heard of that phrase before. So big shout out to Ahmed for bringing that to my attention. Um, tooled leather wallets. These are cool. Wow. Very interesting right here. Great designs, very interesting colors. Yeah, very nice right there. It looks like some of them are going for more. Some are going for a little less. A little metal piece connected to that, although it's only going for $6.99. Check this out right here. Holy moly. Makasho. Black skull, carved genuine leather, tribal long-tooled wallet with chain. This thing is looking intense. A lanyard is to carry an office badge on your neck. 
I found a solo laptop bag. Awesome, Joha. Lanyard is something you made in summer camp or Boy Scouts. Yeah, so that's definitely an interesting item right here. E-packet from China. Uh-oh. Thanks for bringing that up, Armed. I appreciate that. So let's see if we can find some more brands. Here's an awesome brand, guys, that uh, I was researching when it, when it was coming to backpacks was the brand Fendi. Fendi. Fendi definitely goes for some really crazy money. I've never come across this brand. Uh, for some reason, it's always got these scary-looking eyes on the front. They had it for the backpack, the same with the wallet. Uh, but Fendi goes for some crazy, crazy money right here. You can kind of see the uh, the second half of the uh, the tag right there. But Fendi, two hundred dollars, absolutely crazy right there. Here's another wallet brand that I've never heard of before, Cartier. 60 bucks right here. I mean, I would have never imagined, guys. Um, I've passed up a lot of wallets. Let me know. Have you guys ever come across a wallet out in the field? Maybe at a thrift store, a garage sale, a flea market. Have you ever come across wallets? Have you picked them up and sold them, or do you typically pass them up? Uh, I know this is an area that I passed up before, and, and that's why I'm doing this research. I want to learn myself, and I want to pass it along to you guys as well. There's the, uh, the name right there, Cartier. Check some pens. We'll definitely do pens one of these days for sure. Uh, I'm gonna stay on topic just because I wanna I wanna make sure that you know we take care of everybody who wants to learn about these wallets. But we'll definitely talk about pens one of these days for sure. Yeah, a lot of people are saying never. James Keene says never. Joe ha so says never. Uh, you know they're out there. They're definitely out there. And um, you know the key the key in my opinion to growing your business right is and, and spending less time out there sourcing is learning about a lot of different things. You know, don't just learn about clothing, you know, don't just learn about t-shirts, learn about belts, learn about blazers, learn about ties, learn about pens, learn about backpacks, learn about shoes, learn about electronics, learn about, you know, furniture, because the more, you know, the better opportunity you're going to have when you're out there. You know, you, you just might go to a thrift store and there might not be any books, you know, you'll have to focus on clothing or there might not be profitable books and clothing. And, you know, in that case you have to focus on glassware. So knowing more, uh, will always do, do, do well for you when it comes to putting money in your pocket. So, um, yeah, cool little brand right here. Let's look a little deeper into it. See what comes up right here. Wow, some of these things are going for some serious cash. This one's brand new, going for three twenty nine. Let's click pre owned. Let's hit sold listings. David says that's why I am here to learn more. That's what I'm talking about. Again, guys, sorry I couldn't bring as much energy as I typically do to these shows, but uh, it's late night for me. Uh, I'm running out of steam. I am running out of steam for the day. This is my third video of the day today. So, uh, you know, putting it, putting in that work, going into overdrive. But check this out, guys. 79, 79, 60. Uh, here's an older one for 21, 41. Um, yeah, it looks like these prices are all over. Again, you know, do do the research, guys, when you come across this brand. Uh, right now, we're kind of just like doing that, like phase one preliminary, just opening up our eyes to the opportunities to the brands. We're not really diving into, you know, the super, super nitty gritty specifics. So uh, I just want to make that, you know, I just want to bring that to the surface. So let's continue moving down the line. Let's look for a few more brands, guys, because I am running low on energy. But uh, yeah, let's learn a few more things because you never know when we're going to come across this. Uh, Hugo Boss, that's a brand to be on the lookout for. You ever come across Hugo Boss wallets, belts, check it out, look more into it. Um, let's see. Here's a uh, Versace uh, keychain. Someone took a best offer under 145, which is pretty crazy. Prada, Louis Vuitton. Um, someone was talking about alligator skin for a wallet. Here's a 1960s Swank. Genuine alligator men's wallet. Best offer under $60. Porsche Design. Trifold wallet. Best offer under 160, 116. Here's a Rolex vintage 1980s. Chrome Submariner Anchor on. I don't know what that is. All right, let's keep looking. Burberry. We know about these brands, guys. We already know about Louis Vuitton. Let's not waste our time with it. Yves Saint Laurent. 
which is a brand that I like to mess with when it comes to clothing. This sold for under $35. Not sure what it sold for, uh, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Not sure how these all do, but Yves Saint Laurent, which is a, I believe it's a French brand, but this is made in Italy. Uh, definitely could bring you in some good money. They make some high quality stuff. Uh, there is the logo or the brand in the left hand bottom left hand corner be on the lookout for that brand for sure bosca never heard of this brand before a 1911 old leather calling card case bosca bosca i'm not 100 percent sure but it sold for 40 dollars right here Let's see if we could find the brand here we go bosca i'm gonna call it 1911 let's look a little deeper into that How do we know it's a fake wallet? You know, when it comes to anything, you know, it's all about the quality. It's all about the details. It's all about, you know, how does it feel in your hand? You know, the, you know, you, you're going to have to do your research, right? There's certain brands that are going to be red flag brands, right? Coach, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, um, anything like that, you know, Salvador, Salvador, uh, Ferragamo. You're going to want to look into these brands, right? Post a picture in a Facebook group, uh, you know, bring it to the store if you can ask around, see what other people have to say. Um, but do your research for sure. If, if it feels cheap and it's a high end brand, do some research for sure. Um, but this brand right here, which I'm going to be calling Bosca 1911 looks and appears to be doing pretty well right here. 45, 15, 50, uh, some are going for a little low Sadler by Bosca. So this is kind of all over the place, as you guys can see right here, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and, and do some more research on. I mean, this one only went for $1.36 uh, on auction. So it looks like this is up and down all over the place. Aisha saying, probably pronounce Boskia. Who knows? You guys know me. There's a few things you could count on me for, but one of them is not pronouncing things properly. If you're gonna if you're gonna bet your life on me pronouncing something properly, you ain't gonna be around much longer. Anyways, um, I can't believe you didn't know what Cartier was. P.S. You're pronouncing it wrong. Hey, Rune Scale Player 555. P.S. I don't know a lot of things. You know, I, I've been in this game for three years, and, uh, you know, there's so much to learn. And, uh, you know, pronouncing it wrong? Duh. I'm raking profit. I pronounce every name wrong. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there's a lot out there, though. You know, all jokes aside, I'm just messing with you, uh, Rune Skate Player. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of items out there that I don't know about. You know, I'm really good at a few things, and there's a lot of items out there that I don't know about. So, you know, putting in my research, putting in my, uh, you know, time, my homework, and, and that's what it's all about right there. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> let's see. What else do we have? James Keen, man. You like that? So there's the brand that Bonafide Hustler or Ba Dam was talking about earlier. Uh, he was talking about Tumi. This is an awesome brand to come across right here, guys. A lot of cool outdoor stuff, uh, briefcases, laptop bags, uh, uh, little messenger bags. Tumi, T-U-M-I, awesome brand right here. Check this out. Look it up. Put in your research, and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Marcos knows what's up. So, uh, yeah, 75 bucks right there. That was definitely pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see if uh never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Let's keep moving. What do we got here? There's another Mont Blanc, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, a lot of higher end stuff selling for 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 big big bucks. Armed says the bridge is a good brand. They wear in Italy mostly man bags. The bridge, cool, awesome. The bridge. Authentic Fry Melissa Wallet or Frey. I've heard of this brand before. Again, uh, don't don't jump on my back and smack me in the head for pronouncing it wrong. Come on, guys. Um, but I know this brand right here does really really well. I know it does. I've looked it up before. Um, I think it even even men's shoes. But I'm gonna go wallets. Uh, and I'm gonna go. I wanna get men's. I wanna get men's wallets. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, $530 brand new, 85, 93, 89, 117. Very, very high end right here. F R Y E. Don't know much about it, but buy it. 
All right, guys. Uh, here's another high end a Kame, Kame Des Garson. I know I pronounced that wrong again. Um, high end, super high end. To me, Isaac Reyna. Never heard of this one before. Let's look into this. Isaac Reyna. Men's wallet in soft black, calf rare, unique, and smart design. Hermes, definitely awesome. Scott Fitzgerald, sorry, I have Tourette's of the fingers. Scott, man, you out your mind, brother. You're awesome, though. All right, let's see. A gorgeous and very special wallet here. The wallet is made of the soft, softest calf leather. The vegans are not going to be happy about this. 89 bucks right here. 89 bucks. Let's look at it. Wow, that does look pretty soft. The vegans are not going to like that whatsoever. I'm vegan, guys. I'm allowed to say it. Um, let's see. Oh, comes with a free dollar. You know, you know what's so funny, guys? Someone's going to buy this. You know, maybe they won't get mad because this is going to be a higher end customer, I'm assuming, if they're going to spend 89 bucks on this. But if you sold this to 10 customers, you'd get one customer who would message you and say, What's going on right now? Why, you know, why, why is the dollar not in the item? It was pictured with the dollar. I thought it was supposed to come with the dollar. So be very, very careful of how you display your items because once in a while, once every blue moon, you're going to get a customer that says, why is that not included? Um, Victor, when are you going to do a live show again after tonight? Victor, um, probably tomorrow. I'll probably do one tomorrow. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow on uh, pins. That would be pretty cool. I've got a live show going down on Thursday. I don't know. Do any of you guys know Stefan Palernos of Project Life Mastery? Actually booked him for Thursday. We're going to be doing a live show at noon Eastern time talking about affiliate marketing, which is actually outside of reselling. Uh, but yeah, Stefan Palernos of ProjectLifeMastery.com. He's coming on. Uh, so emotional. People out there. Some people get emotional. Uh, I would be upset. That's two tattoos at Jack in the Box. <laughs> oh, man. And never give wallet without putting cash in it. You got to put cash in that wallet. All right. Let's find one more brand, guys, and I'm going to get out of here and, and hit the sack for the night. Um, let's find something really, really cool. All right. Long champ. Okay. What's this? Now, this is a great way to end the show. Horween shell. Horween. $85. $85 uh, leather. Coronado. I don't know what that is. Somebody help me out. Genuine leather. I'm Cor Coronado leather. So I guess that's a specific, specific type of leather designed and crafted in California. All right. Let's look this up. Let's look that up right here. Um... Okay, let's go to, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go down and let's, all right, we'll just type that in. Uh, men's wallet. Utah GMA says, uh, I had a lady who got mad because she wanted it for cheaper, said I was mean. <laughs> um, sometimes you buy wallets with paper credit cards, so maybe it's Monopoly money. You never know. So look at this, guys. There's a whole bunch of different types of – so I guess Horween is the, the type of leather. So maybe I wasn't looking at the right item. I wasn't looking at – I don't know what the brand is. I don't know if Horween is the brand or that's the type of leather. I'm not really sure. It's a little late, so my brain is starting to shut off slowly but surely. Uh, but I see other brands like Rivet Palm Wallet, Horween Leather. Here's Craft & Lore Port Wallet, $56.99. Horween Shell. Cordovan bifold wallet 275. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on right now. Um, but whenever this name is associated, it seems to be doing very, very well. So Joha so says uh, good profits with the wallets. Yeah. So uh, Joha, that's really the main reason I did this. I wanted to bring to your attention that, you know, there's money to be made with wallets. Not only do you put money into wallets, but you can buy a wallet at a thrift store, a garage sale, a flea market, and you could sell it for money to put in the wallet that you don't own anymore because you sold it. So hopefully you guys had fun. <laughs> but anyways, guys, yeah, there's opportunities in a lot of different items, not only wallets. I mean, there's millions of products out there. So um, yeah, let me know. What do you guys think of these live shows? Do you like these shows uh, going through the sold listings? Uh, you know, diving into a particular item do you enjoy this style of shows is there is there a way that i can make it better and improve it um you know it's an easy way to 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 be able to uh 
you know, uh, put together content as a content creator. It's an easy way to get content and it's, it's helpful for me. It's helpful for me. So I'm hoping it's as helpful for you as it is for myself. Um, but it's a great way to be able to put content together for you guys. And, and again, um, you know, not only does it help me to learn, right? Not only does it help me to learn about what to buy and sell on eBay, but it helps to build up my channel, which is cool. Helps to bring in some, uh, income for my channel as well because if you guys are ever wondering yes i do get paid from these videos not much um but the bigger your channel gets the more money you can make from google adsense and building up your channel um and also you know i really get a big benefit out of just helping people i enjoy helping people and and you know spreading you know education around so people can go out and make money at thrift stores and garage sales and stuff. So there's a lot of benefits to me guys. So I don't want this. I don't want it to make it sound like I'm being a saint. I, I do love helping you guys and putting out content, but there's so many benefits for me and for you as well. That's why I love doing these shows because you know, it's like killing eight birds with one stone. I, I told my friend that the other day, I said, these shows are like killing eight birds with one stone because there's so many benefits for everybody with these shows. So I uh, just want to be hundred percent transparent about my motives and, and, and kind of why I do these shows and how I'm enjoying them. And um, hopefully it's helping you guys and you know, yeah, appreciate you guys following me. Appreciate you guys watching uh, Scott Fitzgerald live shows are good. Improve it by having shirtless moments of flexing during intermission breaks that might turn off the viewers. Maybe in, maybe in like six to 12 months, uh, Scott, I, I could try to do that. So, What's going on, JC Heaven, Blazing Beats? How does WorthPoint work? I've never used WorthPoint, um, but I think it's just a search engine where you search for different things and it kind of shares with you, you know, maybe what what it's sold for. I don't, I don't know. I've never, I don't remember. I think I've used it in the past, but I, I really don't remember. Will you review listings? Yeah, we can definitely do that one of these days, uh, Kingsley, uh, for sure. But anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate watching. There was a lot of people watching tonight. There was 40, over 50 people watching at times. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, smash that like button. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, if you want to check out some of the free books that I have, go over to rakenprofit.com and uh, you can go over to products and you don't have to buy any of the paid products that I have, but I do have two free books for you, e-commerce on fire and a hundred amazing items to resell. So if you want to learn a little bit more, a little bit more about, you know, items to buy and sell, here's a hundred more that you can get right here uh, that are actually a lot more kind of secretive in a sense and rare and, and items that could really make you good money. So be sure to get that book. Check this out as well. 97 strategies to boost your sales, eBay, Amazon, Craigslist. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys found value in this video and hopefully you guys go out there to thrift stores, garage sales, food markets and beyond and find some wallets, flip them for good cash. And hopefully you'll be able to retire one day and never have to work another day in your life. So with that being said, thanks for watching and keep on picking and making that money. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.